Hey guys, it's David. I'm back again. I'm making a video doing some bicycle uh, maintenance. I'm going to show you uh, my tire, my tennis tire. And you can see how smooth it is. There's no more tread left. So I decided to uh, take it off my electric Brompton. And I'm going to put on a new tire. Uh, some ways that you can tell that your tire is ready to be changed. First of all, there's no more tread, as you can see. I'll compare this tire, and you can see this one still has a little tread. This one has like nothing left. Another thing is that it comes really soft, these tires. And then also when you ride, um, you might hear some noises or cheeps or just s s slow noises. So I decided uh, just to put on a brand new tire. Uh, the weather is getting nicer, so I'll be going for longer mileage. So the first thing which I did was I inspected all the spokes, and I um, I, I hit it with a wrench, and I heard the the tone. So now I know my spokes are good. I'm gonna take this off the Brompton, and then I'm gonna do some stuff like this. You see this little screw right here? I'm gonna tighten that up. I'm gonna apply some grease over here. And I'm going to make this front wheel sound a lot better than it was. So this is my hub. And uh, right here is how you disconnect the, uh, the hub from the, from the uh, controller. So you pull this up and then out. So I'll show you what this is. Then I want to show you this too. I want to show you the connection of this Crystallite 209. That's what it looks like. That's where it goes in. So I've um, worked on these uh, tennis tires. I really do love them because I've never had to like walk my bike home before. But in order to get this tire off, you need to take off one of the brakes. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And then I'm going to use one of these figure out which it is, and take off one. So, I took off the Tannis tire, and this is amazing, I wanted to show you this. It came off, I usually have to cut, I usually cut it with a saw, but, you see how I just got it off, I just pulled it off? This is pretty rare, I've never actually seen this before, because usually it's really in there, and you have to cut it off. So, I'm going to use this as a spare, if I ever have to, you, uh, have any problems with my tennis tire, but this can probably get put back on to a, it's sort of like a donut for a car. You probably can put it back on another car, uh, another bike, maybe for a couple hundred, you know, for a few dozen miles, just, just as a spare. So this is pretty interesting. So uh, this is what the tire looks like when it comes off, or usually you have to cut it with a saw. Hey guys, so um, right now what I'm doing is just wiping down any dirt and grime that's on the hub. And cleaning up the tire a little bit. Checking spokes. Getting a nice clean hub. I also use some uh, TriFlow. And I'm going to go around. Just like so. I'm gonna clean that off. Doing this outside. Okay, so um, I do have a Brompton, and if you could use a Brompton, you could use these uh, purple spacers. You put the spacers in like this, and then you kind of press down on them for the next step. I also want to show you this, and this is why Tannis is awesome. All Tannis tires come with a 5,000 miles or two-year warranty, whichever comes first. However, the warranty will be void if the tires are misused or fit in fitted incorrectly. Does Schwab have this type of warranty? No. 
So uh, you're getting a warranty with these tires. I've used the warranty once before, and I was sent a new uh, new tire with a order that I had. I don't think Schwab will. Uh, well, so maybe maybe they will. I don't know. But this is the 5,000 mile or two year warranty that comes included. So uh, I use this tool and you can see all the spacers, you just push down on them and you sort of put them into the tire just like so. And now I'm ready to mount the tire. Guys, I wanna show you this. This thing was a little bit loose. It had a little bit of wiggle. So I'm using my Allen wrench to tighten it up. Okay guys, so when you put your tennis tires together, you'll probably be buying two tires at once. So you're gonna wanna, when you're putting on the, uh, the tire, you're sure you're gonna put the tire using these two tools like this. Never use a screwdriver. Use the plastic tools that they gave you and then sort of like pry the tire onto the onto the uh, the tire. This is probably the most difficult part of it, but you just need a little bit of muscle, and then you slide these out really slowly. There you have it. The tire is on. The hub wheel, and now I'm going to install it. It only took me a, uh, a couple of minutes. It was very quick today. I didn't have to use a lot of muscle. I've done this a few times already. And then you kind of like massage the wheel onto the hub. Thanks. So if you're looking for some tires, I would check out uh, Metronome Music and Cycle to Go. They are the United States distributors of these tires. You'd want to get the Brompton specific ones. So two of them, they're fifty dollars each, and this is the total. So hopefully, hopefully you like this uh, video.